I get it how I live it. I live it how I get it. So today I'm going to be talking all about my college experience so far in my first semester. Like that's crazy that it's already over. But I got a lot of questions about my experience and how was it for me like being so far away from home and all that good stuff. So I wanted to make a video like addressing the questions that I got a lot from like friends, family, and even like some people like leaving comments under my previous videos. So yeah, let's get right into the video. I also made a list of tips that anybody could use whether you're a freshman in college or you're going to college next year or you're coming in the spring semester and some of the tips are more specific for just UK students and others are like more broad so regardless if you're a freshman or not these tips may help you so yeah let's just get right into the video if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, my name is Catherine. Nice to meet you. And yeah, let's get right into the video, you dig? So the first question that I get asked all the time, like over break and right after spring semester is, was college what I expected? And for me, it wasn't at all just because I thought like college would be really, really hard, like right off the bat. But for me at least, like that wasn't the case at all. All my 101 classes were like the same workload that I was used to in high school. In high school, I took like one AP and one dual enrollment course my senior year. So the level of difficulty was about the same. And actually like the hardest thing about college wasn't the workload. It was like procrastination on my end and like not getting stuff done and not having good time management skills. like. Who is time management? I don't know her. Another question I get asked a lot is, do I still like UK and do I still like college? Yes, I really like college. I like the new like freedom that you have. Even though it's scary, I really like having like my future in my hand, so to speak. So like I like my decisions, like making an impact, and it makes me like more accountable for my actions which can be a bad thing and a good thing but it's almost like teaching me to grow up basically and learning how to adult because in high school it's like really easy to like just fall back on your parents but in college like it's all you like you have to get your together so the third question that I always get asked is how has it been going to college so far away from home so it was always my decision to go so far away from home, so it wasn't like that big of a deal like, oh my god, like I'm never going to come home. But I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and be like, oh no, I never got homesick. I got homesick probably like in the end of October or like the middle of October just because I was really stressed. Like the thing about college is like you always feel like you have something to do because you live at the same place that you go to school at. So for me, I just needed a break from the atmosphere of constantly doing work all the time and never feeling like I could have a break. So around October, I was like, oh my god, I need a break. I need to go home. But as far as like missing my family, I literally FaceTimed my mom every single day and I like Snapchatted or like I talked to my sister. So I really wasn't missing like my family like I literally like talk to them every single day but definitely if you're somebody who needs to feel at home and feel like they can come home whenever they want probably don't go to a school that's like eight or nine hours away like me but I never had a problem like being able to come home like I'm really blessed to be able to be like mom I need to come home like get me a plane ticket um, but another thing that's bad about that is just because you have to plan like so far in advance because tickets are so expensive so I can't just be like, oh, I want to go home tomorrow. You know, I have to like plan a month in advance. So that's a downside. But for me, like going far away is something I've always wanted. So I can't really complain. I love my school. I love being there. And I just love the atmosphere of college. So. so a question that's not on my phone, but actually I got on my video last night. It was, was it hard making friends? No, not at all for me, just because I got myself involved a lot on campus and if you think about it, it's literally just like high school, you meet people in your classes and when you're getting involved in like 
extracurricular activities or organizations on campus so just do the same thing you've always been doing and you'll be like fine as far as meeting friends a lot of people say like how am I gonna find friends in such a big university but for me it was quite the opposite I love having a big university because I constantly feel like I'm meeting like new people every day and don't worry about like finding your best friend like the first week of your freshman year like that's probably not gonna happen just enjoy the ride enjoy meeting new people and then you'll find your click eventually so the first tip that I have is to really get involved because that's what makes college like worth it to me college isn't about like just going to class every day and coming back to your dorm and like doing the same cycle over and over it's about like finding like what you like and then hanging out with people who like the same things as you so definitely get involved because that makes college so much more fun than just going back to your dorm every day. But at the same time, you don't want to get too involved where you're like spreading yourself too thin and you can't like put your all into the organizations that you're in. So I would suggest having three organizations that you really like and put your all in it and have a good time and meet new people just so that you can put your all into it and it won't be like half ass. you know what I'm saying? So tips that I got for being involved is you have three organizations and you pick one thing that's in your major, something that you're interested in, and something outside of your major. So for me, I'm a part of NABJ, which is National Association of Black Journalists, and I'm a journalism major, so that fits right along with my major. And then something that I'm interested in is I'm a part of the Kentucky Colonel, which is a newspaper on campus and that's something I've always done I did it in high school and it falls along with my major also but it's just something that I was interested in and then a third organization that I'm a part of is SGA which is student government's freshman leadership program and it's basically a program that helps you learn how to be a better leader and just a better like I don't know if role model is the right word, but a better like leader on campus and a better like person in general. And I always like want to like be someone that others can like kind of follow or just be like a good person and a genuine person. Why why you gotta interrupt my video? Okay. You're so disrespectful. And the program also like introduces you to other leaders on campus. So I got to test every little organization on campus to see which one I wanted to be a part of. So that was a really good opportunity. And if you're a freshman next year, you definitely want to go ahead and apply for the SGA's freshman leader development program just because it's a really good exposure to all the different organizations and it teaches you how to be a better leader which I think everyone can use so yeah so another tip that I have is to really use like the resources that are on campus so one of the ones that I use all the time is the study and it's basically like an organization that tutors students at Kentucky and you can go for literally any subject I personally have only used math because I literally suck at math what's 9 plus 10 21. It's awesome because it's open from 2 to 10 and you can go in there and get help with anything you may need and for me I would always wait till the last minute and like not know what's on the exam the next day so I would go like at like 8.30 and they would literally teach me everything and then I would be set for the exam tomorrow so definitely use that if you're coming to Kentucky I'm pretty sure that other schools have like an organization like that as well but once again just really like use the resources that they give to you because I didn't know about that until like the end of the semester and I could have got a lot like better grades on my math exams if I knew about that before so another tip that I wish I knew about like earlier in the semester is if you ever can't get an appointment for UK healthcare because they're like really booked up normally um, but you still need to go back to class because you can't miss like the whole freaking week you know you can go on UK healthcare's webpage and you can fill out a tier one excuse and that basically is like telling your professors that you were sick but you like couldn't get an appointment so that was very helpful for me when I found out about that and you didn't hear this from me but if you ever want to use it like you don't feel good but you know if you went to the doctor like they would be like there's nothing wrong with you I mean you didn't hear this from me but you could always use that I don't know after freshman year I heard like teachers don't really accept it after then but if you ever like oversleep or something like you can use that another thing that I didn't expect from college is that attendance really really matters so if you just miss one day like your grade could be gone from an A to B automatically so definitely like for 
issues that pop up that you really don't have an excuse for, take advantage of the tier one because that got me out of a lot of situations when like you're sick. So another one of my tips are for all like the really big like sports fans. If you guys are into basketball, you guys really have to put effort into getting tickets for the games. But once you like put that effort in, it's not that hard. I know that's kind of confusing, but basically as soon as you get to school, go online, UK Athletics page, and put all the lottery and distribution dates in your phone so that you're like in the know about everything. My problem was that they have a big blue madness practice that Drake actually came to and they gave all the students free tickets but I didn't even know about it. So make sure you put those dates in your phone so you're like in the know. Another tip is that you really need to get the BBN Rewards app which is an app that if you check in to every game that's not basketball you get like points and the people with the top 200 points get first access to basketball games and that's really helpful because not a lot of people like know about the app so I only went to like a couple games like a couple volleyball games I think and I was already in like the top 200 and then also I never had to like go through the lottery I just get an email when they're like selling the ticket another tip that I would say because I've learned like the hard way is to make sure you look at the specific dates for each game when you're going to buy your tickets just because I bought a lot of games that like I couldn't end up going to because they were during the week and I knew I had an exam the next day or just like little things like that but if you do happen to buy a ticket that you can't go to the game to anymore it's very easy to sell them on like the UK 2021 or whatever your year is like page on Facebook or like group chats that you have a group me and don't worry you'll be in so many group me's that you'll want to shoot yourself but it's okay it comes in handy sometimes so my last and final tip is about K week K week is like very exciting and it's really like easy to get caught up in like the hype and always like want to go to everything but my tip is you don't literally have to go to everything. So for me, I exhausted myself right before school because I was like, oh my god, I have to be so involved. I have to go to every little thing. But that's literally not the case. So go to the big events like Ruckus and like the main K-Week stuff. Like you'll know when you get like the pamphlet. But you don't have to go to the little, the little things. Like I wish I had slept in like every day instead of getting up really early and actually going to those things because they were fun events if you really like wanted to but like it was kind of like a waste of time like I wish I spent more time like preparing myself for the first day of school and like getting some rest so I wasn't so tired the first day but I'm not saying not to go to any K week events but just go to the big ones and if you don't go to the little ones you'll be fine don't have FOMO that's what I had I had like extreme case of like fear missing out so I just wanted to let you guys know that you should participate in K-Week, but you don't necessarily have to go to every little thing. So that pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below. And if you guys want a video that goes more in depth about my experience or like any questions that you may have about like college in general, feel free to like leave that down below, like what you want to see. Because this video, I didn't want to go too in depth, but I wanted to give you guys some tips that I learned and wish I knew. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. And I appreciate everyone who subscribed when I'm like, not consistent at all so thank you so much and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye